and subject our soldiers to unnecessary threats where we are putting our treasure and our lives of our men and women in uniform on the line unnecessarily. Now someone, I can't believe I even heard this, said, oh, I can't go to a funeral and tell the parents of someone who just died that they lost their child in vain. Somewhere I heard that during the Vietnam War. So what is it we got to do? We got to double down on a bad policy to protect the honor of those who've already died? I don't think so. There isn't a soldier in this country who's laid down their lives for our nation that isn't a hero. And no one in here disagrees with that. What is shameful is our policy that puts them in harm's way when they don't need to be. And make no mistake about it, this is not about national security. Because if it's about national security, it's about whether we put our treasure and our lives on the line in Afghanistan or whether we put it in Kuwait or whether we put it in the Sudan or whether we put it in some other place in the world, all of which is where we need it. Where do we need it the most? That should be the question, because we don't have the resources to put it everywhere. So don't come and tell me our national security requires that we have it in Afghanistan, because that's not the only place we need it. The question is where our priorities should be. And you take it from one place, you got to put it somewhere else.